Photoshop gets a lot smarter, an After Effects sorcerer appears, and Sora from OpenAI has arrived, and it's odd. It's Motion Mondays. Let's get weird. Motionographer's 2024 Motion Awards results are in, and while industry awards might not carry the same weight they used to, they're still giving a well-deserved spotlight to incredible work. A few standout pieces include D-Max's Network ID from Super E Studio, giving off serious D-Vein and Bjork music video meets true detective vibes with its creepy yet captivating aesthetic. Digital Kitchen knocked it out of the park with their Harry Potter Visions of Magic installation, showing how motion design is more and more breaking free from flat screens. Antenna Creative snagged best title sequence for Leave the World Behind with a constructivist art style that feels like a throwback to early 2000s motion graphics. Even AI got its moment, with Private Island's piece cleverly leaning into AI's quirky aesthetic while blending it with live action and traditional motion design. Check out motionawards.com for detailed write-ups on all the winners. There's a ton of great work here to get inspired by. French artist Nicolas Louis just broke the friggin' internet with an incredibly realistic wave animation created entirely in After Effects using built-in tools. But here's the really cool part. When the people demanded to know how he did it, he delivered a detailed breakdown showing every layer, every fractal noise texture, every particle simulation, and every mask. It's like <laughs> Andrew Kramer on steroids. What's brilliant about this work is how Nicolas broke down complex natural phenomena into manageable pieces. The upward motion, the downward motion, the edge, the splash. His Instagram also features an equally impressive car fire animation that walks the line between realistic and stylized. Nicolas, if you're watching this, we'd love to have you do some tutorials. You are an After Effects genius. Our 12 days of MoGraph promotion continues with today's prize from Motion Array, a full year subscription to their incredible library of templates, assets, sound effects, and MoGraph files. Head to schoolmotion.com slash 12 days to enter and make sure to check back daily through Friday for new prizes. Huge thanks to all our amazing sponsors for making this possible. Looking ahead to 2025, our winter session registration is open and filling up fast. Classes start on January 6th and it's going to be an epic session. We're offering courses in After Effects, Cinema 4D, Photoshop, Illustrator, Animation, Design, VFX, Illustration, and more, all featuring unlimited critique from pros, community access, and verified credentials. And for alumni and current students, don't forget our monthly virtual meetup is happening this Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Watch your inbox for login details. Those are always a ton of fun and a great way to meet other artists. Rive just dropped yet another game-changing feature for their new layout tools, scrolling capabilities. While most motion designers might not immediately grasp how huge this is, anyone working on digital products knows the pain of creating responsive designs and animations that work with dynamic content. The new feature lets you define exactly how scrolling works in your design, with support for vertical, horizontal, or multi-directional scrolling, static elements, and built-in snapping. It's deceptively simple but incredibly powerful, opening up new possibilities for motion designers in interaction design and the world of UI and UX. If you're interested in jumping into Rive, check out Rive Academy Volume 1 on our site and stay tuned for Volume 2 currently in production. OpenAI has finally released Sora to pro account holders, and the demos on the site will make your jaw drop until you remember these shots are definitely cherry-picked. While it's currently the most impressive AI video generator out there, MKBHD's detailed review highlights both its strengths and limitations particularly its shaky grasp of physics and 3D space. You'll notice that certain shots, like generic drone footage, work beautifully, while anything requiring consistent realistic physics or specific actions tends to go hilariously wrong. Users on X have been having a field day sharing broken generations that prove the tech still needs a lot of work. OpenAI is also being cautious, limiting who can generate videos of real people, probably smart given the potential for misuse. The output can be so realistic, it's almost impossible to distinguish from actual footage, which raises obvious concerns about potential misuse. For now, Sora might be perfect for generic B-roll or background plates, but don't expect it to nail specific physically complex scenes. The tool is also a bit expensive to run if you're generating lots of shots. The pro account is 200 bucks a month. We're likely still a ways off from seeing it in regular production pipelines, but we'll keep you posted as Sora evolves, and if we spot any particularly clever uses in the wild, we will definitely feature them here. Here's a quick tip from our resident Unreal enthusiast, Aaron Rabinowitz, who's been diving deep into Unreal Engine since learning it last year. Let's check it out. How I remade Jurassic Park in Unreal Engine in just a few hours. First, I used the dash tools to create a simple terrain and to randomly scatter trees and plants on the surface. That took about five minutes. Next, I added this Velociraptor model from Fab into the shot. It comes with over 120 different animated actions you can use with the character. Once I had him moving through the forest, I added the black eye camera. I set a few keyframes for position, and the camera automatically added ambient motions and zooms with a handheld look. Then I rendered out my sequence. 
I went to Artlist to grab some music and sound effects and to use their AI-generated voiceover for the narration. And then I mixed the audio in Adobe Audition. I brought the audio and video together in Adobe After Effects, where I added some color grading with Magic Bullet Looks and additional 2D camera shake using Red Giant Universe. I also added motion blur with Real Smart Motion Blur. And done. As an animator, I was so preoccupied with whether I could do it, I didn't stop to think if I should. Want to learn Unreal Engine from the ground up? Get started the way I did by taking a course at School of Motion. Thanks for watching. Do you want to get started with Unreal yourself? You can check out our Unreal for 3D Artists course. It'll get you up to speed in no time. And keep your eyes peeled for our second Unreal course focusing on the motion design tools dropping in 2025. Moth Studios just dropped an absolutely incredible animated short celebrating Monument Valley 3's release, and it's a perfect example of adapting game mechanics into pure eye candy. If you're not familiar with Monument Valley, it's this brilliant puzzle game that plays with perspective, and Moth captured that dynamic perfectly with a stunning mix of 2D and 3D techniques. The compositions, colors, textures, and compositing are all A+. Speaking of stunning work, it's Spotify Wrapped season. If you don't use Spotify, Wrapped is this interactive animation that shows users their yearly listening habits, and yet Yes, mine was full of very loud, very screamy music, shocking absolutely nobody. The design team went with this killer 80s throwback vibe this year. Vuko Studio has handled rap for years, though they might not be able to talk about this year's yet. Check out their site for a deep dive into last year's campaign, and check out the write-up about this year's edition on It's Nice That. The link will be in the description. The team of Yeti Pictures, Not to Scale, and Inside Job Agency just launched this wild Coca-Cola Reborn campaign that kind of reminds me of this awesome piece from Artist Blue that came out years ago. In the Coke piece, they mapped 2D animations onto a 3D city, which sounds simple, but requires incredible planning to maintain that animation appeal while integrating with the 3D geometry. Absolutely sick work. And speaking of incredible, already been chewed just through the kitchen sink at their new Nike piece. This spot features fluid simulations, particle effects, crazy Houdini work, and photorealistic compositing that puts them in the rarefied air occupied by studios like Tendril. The team at ABC has been steadily climbing to the top of the industry, and pieces like this show why they're now among the elite few who can pull off this level of work. Huge props to Barton and the entire team over there, making us Texans proud. Yeehaw! Have you spotted some amazing work we should feature? Tag us at School Motion on social media and let us know. Cavalry users rejoice. Ruben Lara just created a tool that lets you import Photoshop files as individual transparent PNG layers with just a couple of clicks. Cavalry works very differently than After Effects when it comes to raster artwork, so this tool is a mega time saver. If you're not familiar with Cavalry, think of it as Houdini for 2D animation. It's got some wild procedural tools that After Effects users can only dream of. The plugin is available on Ruben's Gumroad at name your own price, suggested 10 bucks, which is an absolute steal if you're using both programs. Haley Isaacs, our School Motion student of the week, absolutely crushed her illustration for motion assignment. The task, create an isometric view illustration, and Haley knocked it out of the park. Based in Brooklyn, Haley's already got serious drawing chops. You can check out her portfolio's card game design for proof. What's really cool, though, is how she shared her process for this assignment, sketching an isometric scaffolding, gathering reference, including some Monument Valley inspiration. It's funny how that keeps popping up, and even creating a 3D reference model to draw over. The final piece is gorgeous, packed with personality and beautiful shading details. Absolutely killer work, Haley. We can't wait to see what you create next. The Photoshop beta just got a pretty incredible upgrade to its object selection tool that's gonna save you a ton of time on portrait work. Already great at identifying objects, it can now recognize individual parts of humans. We're talking eyebrows, shirts, teeth, ears, and pretty much every feature you might want to adjust. But here's the really clever part. It works with multiple people in the shot, maintaining accurate selections even in group photos. What makes this update particularly useful is the inclusion of smart presets for common retouching tasks. If you want to adjust just the hair or the clothing, the tool understands these distinct elements and creates precise masks accordingly. This is another example of Adobe using their AI research to actually solve real workflow problems instead of just chasing AI trends. It's like having a really fast, really accurate rotoscoping assistant that never gets tired or complains about having to mask out individual teeth. That's oddly specific. <laughs> the update is currently available in the Photoshop beta, so you can test it out now before it makes its way into the main release. Give it a whirl and let us know what you think in the comments. Grayscale Gorilla just dropped a killer update to their studio app, adding triplanar projection support for sending textures to any 3D app. If you're scratching your head about triplanar projection, think of it as a smoother version of cubic projection that helps avoid seams and distortions. Super useful for when you don't have perfect UV maps. They've also added beta support for Adobe Substance Painter, letting you send materials directly there for further tweaking. At this point, Grayscale Gorilla's tools are basically must-haves for 3D artists, especially if you're doing product renders or architectural previs. Time is money, and these tools save you a lot of both. 
And that wraps up this week's Motion Mondays. Don't forget to enter our 12 days of MoGraph contest running through Friday. Sign up for our winter session starting January 6th and join us for Thursday's meetup at 2 p.m. Eastern. Let's finish 2024 in style. Well, maybe you will. I can't really do that, but I'll see you next week. <laughs>